Jonathan Taylor will likely be traded in the coming weeks after we saw a report that states, Jonathan Taylor has requested a trade from the Colts per Ian Rappaport, with this clip linked to the NFL insider Ian himself reporting on the situation. Jonathan Taylor, the all-pro running back for the Indianapolis Colts, has formally requested a trade from the Colts. This after meeting with Colts owner Jim Ursay on his bus, really right next to the field, a somewhat dramatic scene here. Ursay meeting with reporters for about 20 minutes after practice, this news coming just after that. But the reality is this is something that kind of has been bubbling over the last several days with Jonathan Taylor now heading into the fourth and final year of his rookie deal he's been wanting to get paid throughout the offseason unfortunately the Colts are refusing to do so therefore he has now requested the trade Jonathan Taylor being one of the most productive running backs in the last two years of the NFL he now wants what he's worth which is why we saw Ian go on to say this Jonathan Taylor wants a contract extension certainly believes he has earned a contract extension, just 24 years old, has emerged as one of the best running backs in the NFL, wants to be paid like that, just does not seem like it is in the cards as of right now for the Colts. They have not yet made a contract offer. We're also giving away copies of the new Madden 24. Subscribe to be entered for that. It's incredibly unfortunate to see that the Colts don't care to pay him any money. Considering his three years in the league so far, he has totaled up for over 4,600 yards, while also reaching the end zone 36 times, averaging 5 yards per carry. He was the standalone leader in scrimmage yards in the year 2021, where we would even see an NFL analyst share their opinions online. What is your reaction to uh, Taylor? Uh, wanting to uh, take his talents elsewhere, looking for a trade. Yeah, a little bit surprised, but not really, Larry. I mean, he's been clearly disgruntled on Twitter. There's been rumors that he's wanted to talk to Jim Ursay about potentially getting an extension with the Indianapolis Colts. But the thing that's going against Jonathan Taylor is this running back market is what it is. So, yes, he's come out and asked for a trade. But my question is, where do you want to go? Just like the analyst said, this is a terrible running back situation in the NFL. No team is willing to pay any running back the money that they deserve anymore since they're so injury prone and have short lived careers. One year a running back can have an unbelievable year and then the next they can completely just fall off. Todd Gurley is sadly a very good prime example of this. But while speaking with NFL teams, which ones would be interested in picking up Jonathan Taylor? Two names that seem the most likely are the Patriots. Patriots as well as the Dolphins, as the Patriots have been showing a lot of interest in trying to sign Dalvin Cook. However, he's likely heading with the Jets, so now JT has to consider any option that he can, as JT will be playing off of his rookie deal still, meaning any team can get him at a very cheap season, as one NFL writer would even take to Twitter, mentioning why the Patriots would want to land JT, stating and I quote, New England has 15 mil in cap space, most of their draft picks a struggling young QB that could really use a top running back. Offensive coordinator Bill O'Brien, who traded for a top running back in Houston, plus with the increasingly and competitive AFC East division consisting of the Bills, Jets, and Miami, which all look like very strong opponents, the Patriots are gonna need a boost for their offense if they want to keep up. However, we've also seen a lot of talk about Jonathan Taylor heading over to the Miami Dolphins. Their running back room only consists of Raheem Moster and Jeff Wilson, two running backs that are pretty good while healthy, however, they're not healthy often. The Dolphins are trying to prepare for a very deep playoff run this year. If they can add the incredibly talented back like Jonathan Taylor to the roster, their offense will be nearly impossible to stop. With Tua at quarterback, Jalen Waddle and Tyree Kill at the receivers, and then having Jonathan Taylor as running back, this Dolphins team would start averaging over 30 points a game with this offense. As we even saw more analysts agree that the Dolphins would be the best landing spot. What's a good fit for Jonathan Taylor as far as a fantasy fit? It would, again, it would be Miami. You know, I, I think you just look at what they like have that. in store, you know, with what Tua Tungabailoa can do when healthy. Tyree Kill, Jalen Waddle, the passing game is there. 
you know, just looking for a team, you know, a running back that could sort of put them over the top. You get a player like Jonathan Taylor on your team is going to make that team that much better. Miami's the team I think that everybody's looking at and saying if they get a running back, that running back becomes very fantasy relevant just because of the situation. The Miami Dolphins were also a team interested in signing Dalvin Cook, yet the Jets got to him first. So now this could be where they pick up their solid running back for a chance at the Super Bowl. However, there's also a good chance that nothing happens from the Colts end, as there has been rumors they do not want to trade Jonathan Taylor at all. Trading Jonathan Taylor right now would be insanely complicated to think about. ESPN reporter Jeff talked to a general manager around the league about the situation situation, where he would share, and I quote, I've asked around about Jonathan Taylor's trade value, and it sounds minimal for many reasons. Most notably, it's just a one-year rental. One GM noted, next year's running back market will be saturated. No team is likely to do a long-term deal with the RB value that could keep dropping. And what wondering what the running back free agency will look like next year, he would follow it up by stating, 2024 free agent running backs are Saquon Barkley, Josh Jacobs, Jonathan Taylor, Tony Pollard, Austin Eckler, maybe even Dalvin Cook, as well as a few others. Supply and demand is going to shake a position that's already facing a daunting road ahead, as we have seen the massive uproar in running backs that have been making over this offseason. Many running backs that are still free agents today that you probably forget. Running backs like Leonard Fournette, Ezekiel Elliott, Kareem Hunt, Dalvin Cook, they're all free agents agents without a team. Even superstar running backs like Austin Eckler, who totaled 3,400 yards and 38 touchdowns in his last two seasons, he had a very hard time getting a new contract to be what he is truly worth. But the same organization doesn't hesitate to pay Justin Herbert 260 mil. Running backs are just getting heavily disrespected this year, and it might change the entirety of the NFL. However, Colts owner Jim had finally spoke out about the situation, where he would say, if I disappear tonight and Jonathan Taylor is out of the league, no one is going to miss us. The league goes on. We know that. The National Football League rolls on. It doesn't matter who comes and who goes. It's a privilege to be a part of it. As he followed it up by clearly stating, we are not trading Jonathan. End of discussion. Not now. Not in October. This sends a very strong message to the other running backs in the league. One back that had been considered one of the best in the recent years can't even get a new contract. However, However, you really gotta just think, if Jonathan Taylor doesn't get traded, he's not even just gonna play. He's just gonna sit out and the team will be forced to trade him eventually. The owner is just playing hardball with the star running back. However, this would then lead to an analyst saying Jonathan Taylor has to keep a business mindset. If you're Jonathan Taylor, uh, again, the, the business part of it, you can't act with emotion. You gotta act with your business uh, mentality because a team is gonna have to trade high picks to get you and it doesn't seem like teams are willing to do that right now at the running back position and then they have to compensate you on top of that so 